I'm telling you, when we first saw this building about two weeks ago, it really looked like a bomb had hit it. But take a look behind me now. This is the site that neighbors around here have been eager to see because Adamo Demolition out of Detroit got to work bright and early this morning. I am so happy. No, because the Lord heard our cry and sent us an angel. He sent us an angel. He said, okay, Channel 7. Get out there. They need you. Seeing this old vacant apartment building being demoed is a dream come true to people living in this west side neighborhood. For over three years, it sat empty, and that brought squatters and several fires. Falling bricks had made the sidewalk impassable, and several trips to City Hall seemed to be getting them nowhere. It was so frustrating that, you know, you, you leave the neighborhood to go visit, because you didn't want visitors coming in just to see what was going on, something that our hand was tied that we couldn't do. So it, it, it takes a miracle. You know, to happen. What was it like having to wake up next to this every day? Terrible. Terrible. Uh, our eyes sore. Plus, it was dangerous. Uh, they kept going in there trying to steal. And you just thinking, why would somebody risk their life up in this raggedy place to steal some metal? you know, and can get killed up in here. But over a week ago, Action News called the city to see if we could give these neighbors the hand they needed to get attention on this dangerous eyesore. And the mayor's team ordered an emergency demolition. And today it happened. Oh, thank you, Mayor Duggan. We have a mayor who realized how important Detroit is. Praise Channel 7 and yeah. you. <laughs> because, I mean, we've been trying forever. And Adamo Demolition is going to haul some of this away today, but finishing up this site here and filling in the hole is going to take about a week to 10 days. And coming up later today on Action News at 5 o'clock, we're going to tell you what the city wants you to do if you have an eyesore like this in your neighborhood. That's coming up today on Action News at 5. For now, reporting live on the city's west side, Kimberly Craig, 7 Action News, back to you.